Grab a beer and drop your pants in the water to get your friends. Thank you. This is season four of The Man Show, four years of television magic, and uh, it just goes to show you, time flies when you're up to your nuts and half-naked women. Yeah. <laughs> really does. And uh, everywhere we go, people ask us, Yo, Man Show, where's the juggies? Yeah. They do ask that a lot. Why they ask it so much? One could practically kill himself the next time you fuckers yell at Adam while he's having brunch with his grandmother. Yeah, it does get a little old, but the juggies themselves never do, because if they did, we'd fire them. Yes. <laughs> be a warning to you, ladies. A lot of critics, a lot of narrow-minded people say we treat women like meat on this show, but what's wrong with that? I love meat. <laughs> utmost respect for me. Yeah, you should see Jimmy around pastrami. He's a, he's a perfect gentleman. That's right. But for any show to stay fresh, you have to take creative risks, and you have to keep inventing. Or in our case, you could just hire a new juggie. That's what we decided to do this year. Yeah. So, we put out the call for a special woman, someone we could mold, uh, a raw talent we could shape, a uh, a hymen in the rough. Yes. <laughs> and here's how the search for a juggie got started. We've been looking forward to this all week, ladies and gentlemen. Host of The Man Show on Comedy Central, Jimmy Kimmel, Adam Carolla. Thank you. Hey, boys. Thank you. Thank you. For, we're uh, actually applauding for, for ourselves yeah, as Actually, well. it, it works good for radio, but we're filming this today, so <laughs> now we look like a-holes. So what we're doing is uh, we're having a huge casting call. If you're between the ages of 18 and 19, we want to see your breasts. <laughs> If you ever dreamed of humiliating your parents on cable television, right. we want to see you on Saturday at 9 o'clock a.m. But first, there's going to be an initial screening before they have to face us. We're going to narrow it down. And remember, ladies, if you don't show up this Saturday, the terrorists win. I want to be a juggy girl. It's my dream. I have wanted to be a juggy girl ever since I knew that a juggy girl existed. Because I got big jugs. <laughs> I've never fucked or sucked anybody for anything, for, any, for a job. There are some lines that could be drawn, but I would pretty much do anything you wanted. You know, unless it's cute and, you know, I want to, then, then maybe. Yeah. I can uh, swing on a pole. Yeah. Um, I have to get the boat. Back here. <laughs> Give away a blow job. <laughs> I can bounce. Well, that wasn't a very good one, but sometimes I can almost get it down to the floor. Yeah. Seriously, and suck it up. But I don't want you to mop it up, yeah. I think the term juggy can be used as a slang term referring to a woman's uh, bosoms. This? <laughs> Boobs, am I right? <laughs> what the heck is a chuggy? 
little bit of rollerblading once in a while. I stay in shape by eating a lot of McDonald's because it runs right through you. <laughs> Who's in here? Okay, good. I hate Asian people. <laughs> Sex in a plane. Yeah. <laughs> I let this guy who needed a place to stay move in with me, and he was a huge drug dealer, and this was two years ago. And um, then I started selling for him. <laughs> I would buy bigger drugs. Yeah! The way I see it is this if I fuck somebody, it's because I want to fuck them. Because they don't fuck me, I fuck them. the kind of girl you want to bring home to mom. Tonight, live in this studio, we will add a new juggie and, of course, the jugs that go along with her yeah. to our already burgeoning ranks. And uh, you guys are going to help us choose. Yeah. You all right with that? I have a feeling we're going to be all right, guys. We'll be uh, right back with the man show, guys. The Man Show and our search for a brand new addition to our trampoline family. Did you just fart? That was not a fart. <laughs> you hear? It's oh, a, it's okay. All right. You'll know when I fart, yeah. believe me. Yeah. Yeah. Hundreds yeah. of women from, will know. from all over the Hollywood area drove five to eight miles from their homes to take their shot at D-level stardom. Each of the ladies you're about to see wants to add the coveted word juggy to her resume. And... I can't say that I blame them. Hello, everybody. Hello. God bless America. That's what I'm saying. My penis salutes you. <laughs> yeah, what are your special skills? I can normally do the splits pretty easily. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, let's not see that. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see yeah, that. Yeah, we should That's right. I got to try it? Let's yes. see if I can. Yes. Oh, perfect. There you go. Yeah! You know, this is not a strip club. Oh, yeah. oh really? Yeah, no. These are auditions. We have to behave professionally. Uh, I'm still, I'm going to make a run to the ATM. Okay. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Katie Loman. I have a serious question for you. Are you, um, are you proud of the future? Yeah. You sure you don't want me to get somebody? <laughs> Hi, I'm Rachel Sterling. It says here on your resume that your um, one of your skills is a blood curdling scream. Uh huh. Can you give us a sample of that? <coughs> I want to show you um, uh, some ink blocks, and if you could tell me what uh, what you see. A uh, bow legged girl with sideways breasts. Bow legged girl sideways. Okay, very good. Next. Bow legged girl laying on her back. Bow legged girl laying on her back. <laughs> A really, really big penis. Oh, this one's mind is in the gutter. Oh my god. Yeah, that's clear, clearly a palm tree. <laughs> Hello, Shelly. Hi, guys. Hi. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I have a four year old son. Hi, Joanna. Hey, can you fake cry for us right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, honey, are you okay? All right. <laughs> I'm trying to cop what happened. Oh, look, sorry. cookies. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I feel better we now. We found this true love over there, calories. You're making my towel fall off. Which do you think is more important, honesty or trustworthiness? I think trustworthiness because you don't always have to be honest with somebody and as long as you have trust between whoever 
you can go on and live and trust that person because honesty, like you can be honest in one way, but also make a little lie in the other way. So I think trustworthy is a lot more important. Than honesty. Was she talking? I was staring at her boobs. This is our job. <laughs> I am going to have to dump like a sack of kitty litter down my shorts to absorb what's going on down there. Jimmy, do you realize what's happening? Hi, my name is Rowena Galam. Tell us a little bit about yourself personally. What do you like to do for fun? What do I like to do for fun? I like to go clubbing. What do you club? Seals? Huh? Jump. Yeah. And jump. And now the frolic. Very nice. All right. And yeah. oh, let's get a little dancing. Pretend you're saluting the President of the United States while you dance. Now you're flying roll-on deodorant. When I was um, 18, well, 17, actually, I joined the Marine Corps. Can you drop and give us 20? Please don't make me. You don't have to. Give Thank us you. five. Three, four, five. For my 18th birthday, my dad brought me a Glock. Do you ever fire the gun? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm actually having a good shot. I don't like this. <laughs> one of us is going to get shot by one of them. <laughs> I know. About a little dancing. A little dancing would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can I just do something real quick? I want you to look at some ink blots and you tell me what, um, what you see. Okay. What do you see there? <laughs> that reminds me of a vagina. <laughs> How about this one? Hooters. Yeah. yeah! Shake that fart tank! You also do a number of accents I see here. Will you give us a little sampling of the accents? Which either? one do you want? Try the Irish one, if you want. O'Malley. It's just, uh... <laughs> I just... Yeah, hold, I on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. Forget the Poe, just go. Well, we got some tough decisions to make here. Yeah, well, I got my notes. I'm gonna go whack off and then we'll decide. All right. All right. There you go. Nine potential juggies remain when we return. That number will be narrowed down to two. Live here. Two finalists coming up next. This is the man show. <laughs> And now the host of our show, Adam Carolla and Jimmy Kimball. Allie Giroli and Jim Kimball. Now the host of... <laughs> Adam somebody and somebody else. Adam Carolla and Jamie Camel. Jimmy Camel. Jimmy. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. <laughs> And Jimmy Campbell. Campbell. <laughs> Jimmy Campbell. Adam Carroll. And Jimmy Kimmy. <laughs> and Jimmy Carroll. Right? Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. And Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> and that host of our show is Adam Kerr. Kimball? Kimball. Kimball! Now the host of our show oh, has oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Just when you start to think you're a celebrity, it's like the high school cheerleading squad stomps on your balls all over again. Yeah. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for. Lights! Music! Let's meet our Juggy finalists. First, we have Rachel. Rachel, everybody. Rachel is from San Diego. Her turn-ons are dancing, getting trashed, and men with their own shows. One day, Rachel hopes to star in a sitcom. Hello, Rachel. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> That's the end of the interview. And next, Joanna. Joanna! Joanna was born in Poland. She enjoys techno music, piano 
candlelight dinners and jewelry. Welcome, Joanna. Fantastic. Now, the all-important interview portion of our pageant. Our first question is for Joanna. Joanna, what are our names? Adam, Carola, and Jimmy Camel. Camel, Camel, Camel. It's a very high school. Here we come. <laughs> now it's going to be. It's going to be at least a hand job to make up okay. for that. <laughs> I know it's funny, but it's genuinely humiliating. <laughs> All right. Now, Rachel, if you could save the lives of a hundred cuddly puppies or one dirty homeless man, which would you save? The puppies. The puppies. All right. Joanna, if you could have sex with one celebrity, and I'm guessing you could, who would it be? George Clooney? <laughs> Just kidding. Adam and Jimmy. Well, can I have both yes. at the same time? What, again, what is my last name? Camel. Camel. <laughs> All right. Rachel and Matt. Rachel, same question. Vanessa. sentence, please. Being naked in the back seat of Adam's car means to me... Means to me I'm going to be a juggie. Yeah. You know, it, uh, it means to me you're halfway to being a juggie. All right. And finally, Joanna, what would you like to say to all your fans right now? That I love you all, and hopefully I'll become a juggie so you can watch me all the time all with right. Adam and Jimmy Camel. Camel. <laughs> Camel! <laughs> you are so lucky you're hot. <laughs> Rachel, what would you like to say to your fans? After party, after the show. Shots on me. Enough questions. It is time now. Quiet, guys. It's time for the very serious underpants competition. Right. Now, if we like, we could get you girls to strip down your underpants and you? walk around. Yeah. Yes, I would. Yeah. You can yeah. help you. Well, well I helped you. No, they didn't hook this. Those All retards. Right. <laughs> Hold on. All right. There. And there we go. And there we go. Fantastic. There you go. All right. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Judges, have you made your decision? Yeah. Please give it to Art. And Art, bring it to us. Coming through. Excuse me. Coming through. This is so hard. The decision, and of course, my penis. Adam? And the judges say... Oh, wait a minute. Who gives a crap what the judges say? Let's hire them both! Yeah! yeah.
it's been an amazing night. We've added two members to our family, and I couldn't be more excited, both mentally and physically. Yeah. Ladies, this is uh, your initiation. Well, this is one of the many initiations that you'll be going through. In the uh, immortal words of the fox, Ziggy Zaggy, Ziggy Zaggy, hoy, hoy, hoy! Zuna.